Don't tell your mother Kiss one another Die for each other We're cool for the summer So, what's up guys? So, it's kind of interesting how certain Christians just happen to, you know, to be claiming to be all oh, these peace-loving, God-fearing, just, you know, sweet and innocent, nice little folks. Until you bring up anything that basically challenges their beliefs or disagrees with their beliefs or you happen to even be atheist, and suddenly shit like this happens. Let's just first start off with just how fucking insane that some of that is. They're literally calling over the internet for not only for people to be killed, to be shot with a 12 gauge, to uh, basically be beaten publicly, to be shot, to, you know, basically, and of course the less violent is the one that they should get the fuck out of the country. Let me start by first explaining th this whole thing to the Christians, starting with number one, that you obviously don't know how to internet. See, while we are free to express ourselves and we have the right to free speech, we also have the right to freedom of religion. But under these certain different things, that means freedom, freedom of religion also means freedom from religion. And this is something that a lot of Christians, you know, particularly fundamentalist Christians, don't seem to really grasp. Also, I'd like to point out that making threats like that over the internet is a violation of, the, of your glorious American Patriot Act that your wonderful government has provided for you. Yes, under the, under the Patriot Act, which is a U.S. legal document passed by the Congress in 2001, uh, it is actually illegal to make threats against somebody over the Internet. And depending upon your state laws, it's also probably a state penalty as well because you are technically, because under your state law, that may be considered making a terrorist threat. But definitely threatening somebody over the internet is technically a felony. So, by basically saying that the people should be shot with a 12 gauge, saying that uh, uh, saying that people should uh, be, be shot, that people should, you know, be killed and all this different things, um, ram uh, ramming a spear through the side of people and, st and blah blah blah, Basically saying all this is over the internet is making a threat against a particular individual and or group, which again is a violation of federal law. It's a violation of the Patriot Act. Now, am I advocating the Patriot Act? No, it's a fascist piece of legislation. So just let's put that, you know, but that's completely irrelevant. For when the Patriot Act basically suits the purpose of basically having to point things out to people, it always comes in real handy to basically tell certain individuals, especially religious zealots, about that. So yeah, just a heads up, before you actually start going off on the rampage saying that atheists should go die and be shot with a 12 gauge or be stabbed or speared to death or basically any of that, you're technically committing a crime. So yeah. It's also that, again, that whole thing of freedom of religion means freedom from religion as well. Now, let me first, now this is a perfect segue to explain to the person who says, if the cross offends you, so should this country leave before we kill you. Um, Christians seem to have this innate sense that for some reason America is a Christian nation or that it was founded on Christian values, which is you know, stupid, considering, you know, I think a man named John Adams said something like this in the Treaty of Tripoli.
So, yeah, when Christians go on this sort of little spiel, let us remind them of what our founding fathers said. America was not founded on Christian values, nor is it a Christian nation. It's a, it is a Christian hegemonic nation. There is a large amount of people that are Christian, Catholic, Protestant, whatever have you, within the United States. But that does not make us a Christian nation. We are a secular nation based upon the ideals of secularism, which is the idea that church and state should be separate, and that freedom of religion, and i.e. freedom from religion, should exist within the bounds. Because if America was a Christian nation, one, we would be a theocracy, or a Christian democracy at the very least, and not only that, it would violate the very very core of not only of the U.S. Constitution, but the Universal Declaration of the Rights of Man. So, it, it's basically one of those things where, I, you know, Christians tend to need to actually learn, you know, what the Constitution is, at least the First Amendment anyway, and they need to understand what international law says. Now, of course, I don't expect right-wing Christians to give a fuck about international law because their belief is, well, my beliefs, my beliefs, and my, and my America. Yeah, well, your beliefs and your ideal of America doesn't really fucking matter. It me, you know, the, I, the fact is what the fact is. We are a secular nation. Get over it. People don't believe, there are certain people that don't believe what you do and should not be forced to believe what you do. So that whole thing, of, and so the whole fact of if the cross offends you, so should this country. Actually, no. If freedom of religion, if the idea of secularism and the idea of freedom of religion, i.e., freedom from religion as well, if that offends you, then this country should offend you because technically, that's what this country is actually founded on. So if you don't believe, you know, so if you somehow think that you're Christian beliefs has some priority, holds some precedent, and stuff like that, you need to get off your high horse and get over yourself, because it doesn't. Although Christians are, very, are trying their very hardest to try and push their beliefs down everybody's throats, and that's been obvious with the gay rights movement, as well as many other things that go on in this country, especially the tea, tea bagger Republicans. But, yeah... I, I just can't get over the fact how Christians just absolutely love to just force their beliefs down everybody's throats and think somehow that, you know, that their Christian precedent, their Christian values and morals and beliefs somehow has some importance over everything else and that if you don't, and basically, if you don't like my, what I believe, then get the hell out. If you don't if you don't like this what this and that and the other thing then you can get out of my country which is that typical very white colonizer mentality that very uh, just the colonizer mentality in general the first worldist mentality and frankly a very bourgeois and theocratic mentality this idea of ethnocentrism and just you know the, this Christian nationalism that exists within some people is just absolutely incredible. So, <laughs> because as much as you don't want to admit it or accept it, there are people of varying faiths and non-faiths that don't believe the same things you do. Get over it. There are people who are Muslim, Jewish, Hindi, uh, pagan, atheist, you know, all varying matters of, of religion and non-religion. Get over it. Your religious views may not be the same as another. So, if you can't accept that, maybe you're the one that should leave this country. But let's actually think about that idea of leaving the co my country sort of ideal. Because this idealism is always thrown around by people that think, that, that say, well, if you don't, you know, love this or you don't believe in this then you need to get the hell out again freedom of speech is a two-way street people are free to do whatever they fucking want and speak whatever they want believe whatever they want because this is a country based upon that that freedom 
that's what our Constitution says. And as much as people don't like the idea, this is a country that is built on the idea that if you want to spit or, des or desecrate the flag, you are within your legal bounds to do so. Do I believe it's right? No. And personally, I'd probably beat the hell out of the, the person that did it myself. However, they still have the right to do that because there's, you know, while they, a lot of people do try to bring up this whole thing about the U.S. code about uh, desecration of the flag, the, it doesn't really legally say that, that people don't have the right to do that as a form of protest because if it's a form of protest, it actually is covered under their First Amendment rights. Now, do I believe in it? No, because personally, I don't, per you know, at the same time, I wouldn't be, you know, a person that flies a Nazi flag might be a symbol of protest for a white supremacist, but it does not, but at the same time, does that make it right? No, and personally, I don't believe it should actually be legal either, but they have a right to do that, unfortunately. So, it's that whole thing that we have these certain unalienable rights. And, you know, so it it's, kinda comes down to that sort of issue. So, yeah, it's this whole belief of, you know, if you don't believe what I believe, then you can get the hell out of my country. Well, a lot of the people that have these different beliefs are actually from this country. This isn't, again, this isn't just a Christian nation. This is a nation of many other people and of many other backgrounds and beliefs. So a lot of them also were from this country too, and it's also their country. So, yeah, to basically say that they should get out of the country, why? When they have a right, they have a right to be here, they have a right to say what they want to say, the right to believe what they want to believe, and you know, they shouldn't have to be uprooted just because their views differ from you. That's kind of why America was founded, on the right to believe what you want. So, you're kind, yeah, you're kind of not really following that, apparently. You know, and again, this is a, this is a country that is built on these set of principles. And you know, if you don't like that, then, well, I'm sorry, <laughs> you know, so, yeah, that's something I just kind of wanted to clarify, because I see a lot of these Christian idiots going out there saying, you know, that people need to believe, basically believe what I say, or believe in what I believe, or I'll fucking kill you, sort of mentality, you know, which... I just find oh so very Christian considering that I believe your savior said something along the lines of you know love thy neighbor and go in peace and you know turn the other cheek and you know a lot of that stuff but you know a lot of right wing Christians typically tend to ignore the teachings of Jesus even though they claim to know what Jesus said and was about and what their Bible says even though their Bible seems to kind of contradict some, some if not a lot of the areas of their belief system, but whatever. Again, free to believe what you want to believe. Even if it's technically wrong, even, you know, under especially under your own religion. I don't know. Point is, yeah, people are going to be stupid, and this is what it is. So, yeah. Uh, I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement. This has been NorCal Corner. Later.